This is the crazy Planet Cube Mars, and on Mars I've got the white face bandaged, green face bandaged, and yellow face bandaged, and the red, blue, and orange are unbandaged. My Mars method is going to be similar to the Saturn method in the sense that once you've built an edge piece like this out of your three pieces, you can't flip it like that without breaking it up because there's not three bandaged faces next to each other in the same area like this. We've got an unbandaged face stuck in between. So I'm going to need to build my edge pieces all around in a cage and then reduce my s smaller circle corners to ensure the orientation of the edge pieces for the end game. The solving of the edges or the cage is going to be very similar to my earth circle corners last method and I'm going to start by placing my bandaged faces in such a position that I've got the bandaged face at the front, at the bottom and at the back and the first face I'm going to build is my un unbandaged top face in this case it's the blue one and I'll just turn those pieces up uh, with simple moves there's another one I'll turn this piece down onto the bandaged face down here turn that back up and locate them to the top. So I'll be using my bandaged faces to redirect those pieces up. Next thing that I'm going to do is to turn the cube around to the back and to solve my two equatorial layer inside edges here. So I'll be pulling one down from the top, turning this one across and turning it back up. Turn it down onto my bottom layer, turn it off of this, turn that back up and use my bottom layer to insert this one by turning it the top down to receive it, turning that in and turning it back up. So now I've got my equatorial yellow layer solved. I'll move on and solve the orange and red pieces here. The red is already solved, but there's an orange piece in the bottom. <coughs> now to insert this orange piece that's in the bottom, I'll make sure that my orange piece is not on this because I want to turn that to move these pieces over just in a little setup move make sure that the orange piece is now off of this to bring it down turn it onto there bring it up and restore my setup move to position all of those pieces and I would just do the same for this if that red one wasn't there the next thing that I'll do is to make sure I have three of these green pieces on and I'll just turn them down from wherever I would need to get them from in this case I'll just get them, get them from here and <coughs> turn it onto a green one replace it out with an unwanted one turn the unwanted one up you don't need to replace it out, replace out a green one you could just Turn it back up, any of them. But the last one I'll need to do that when it comes time. The next thing that I'll do is insert these two pieces. And I'll just turn a green one on, replace it, turn it up. and 
This one's solved, but I would just do exactly the same thing if it wasn't. <coughs> now for my last green one and insert it into one of these positions. And there it is on the top layer. So I'll turn that up to receive it, turn it in and back down so it's in this position and then I'll knock one of these out and place it with one of those to replace back up. The next layer I'll be doing is the bottom layer down here and I'll be doing the bottom layer before the top layer because the bottom layer is bandaged and I'll be turning it to the top to receive its piece. So I'll try and line up as many as I can. I think I'll just start with my yellow one. It's just because it's at the back and I'll replace out for an orange. So I'll turn what would be the target position in a place, give it two turns and just turn an orange one into it, replace it back down and turn it into place. The next one I'll do is my red one. There's a red piece. So I'll just turn my target position into place, do two turns, place it out with that one, two turns, and replace it. The last one, of course, is the white one. So I can just turn it straight up, replace it out, two turns, and it's in place. Now I'm going to use these two pieces, just like on the earth, to replace the top layer. And I'll turn the yellow one into place first because it's the furthest one away, and go about re replacing some of these. First of all, I'll turn my red one into one of these positions just by turning it up and turning my yellow one back. Now I've got a piece stored in here that I can place. I'll turn the target position into place, turn it in, turn it back. and my inside circle corners are positioned. Next I'll be solving the outside edge pieces and I'll be looking to find some in the top layer that have green on them to place them down here first. I've got two here that are both upside down so I can actually do an edge flip to flip those over to place them and that's just a normal edge flip which is front up, right, up, back, right, back, front, back, and those two will be flipped over. That's probably the simplest way uh, to do if you've got two together. And I'll be inserting the first red one into here with just a straight turn, turning it in and turning it down. The next one's the orange one, and likewise, it'll just because I'm on an unbandaged face, it will just turn in like that. And those pieces will return. The next piece I have to insert is down here in, in the equatorial layer. And the simplest way to put that one into your top layer is to get two unbandaged faces together. And this one's going to turn straight into this, with this layer with the green up when I perform that and flip it back over so that I can find the yellow now I can't turn this up like that because it's bandaged so I'll need to replace it out to an unbandaged face reposition that turn it up across and down and return it my last D layer edge is here and it requires flipping so with my two unbandaged edges at the front I'll place it up onto my bandaged edge 
and reposition it one turn and place it down here return that and now it's the correct way up I'll turn my edge to there turn that off do two turns place it return it back down and now I'm up to placing my equatorial edges